It's about Jeff Bezos, who gave a speech recently about planning for the future during turbulent times and um, how he thinks about it and how he wants other people to think about it. So he said, let me find his little quote here. Um, yeah, so here he is giving, this is what he says, and I'll return to a part of it in a moment. He says, well, certainly in 10 years, many things will evolve. Technology will change. Machine learning technology in particular will evolve very significantly over the 10-year time horizon. But I would always encourage people when they think about 10 years to ask the question, what won't change? That's actually the more important question. You could build strategies around things that will be stable in time. In that 10-year vision, there's a bunch of things at Amazon the, that we are not going to change. One of them, maybe the most important one, is that we will still stay customer-obsessed instead of competitor-obsessed. We will work on maintaining that culture. And the writer of the article says, did you catch that question? And I'll go back to it. What won't change? It's kind of like going all the way back to the business birthday where you recognize something that somebody uses every day or you know, solving a problem that you, you see in your life over a period of a month. What won't change? It's a fascinating flip. Instead of looking down the road and saying, where do I have to be, even though you have no idea how you're going to get there or what that is, this is a very interesting thing to, to rest a business uh, growth strategy on, don't you think? Yeah, and I, I was trying to think about that with our business and with other businesses is what won't change. Because things will change, right? Technology, the yeah. change is inevitable. And it's whether you plan for it or not. And so I thought this was a smart thing. But I was trying to think with us, with our consultancy, for instance, what won't change, do you think, in 10 years? I think so, that's, a hard, that's a hard question to – Yeah. I, maybe, maybe it's – Maybe it's right in your face, but I don't know. You know, I, no, no. I was it, trying to it, think about the, that. It, it's the hardest question to answer. Um, so I, I did a, I did a little mental test on this one, and I thought about it for a minute, and I thought, let's look at our personal lives. Here's a couple things that will not change as long as we're alive. Probably, you're going to have to do laundry. Either you're going to do it; it has to get done. Clothes get dirty. Dishes get dirty. In business, if you manufacture a product. How, the, the one thing that will not change is how do you get that product to the customer? How do you introduce the product to the customer? And how do you get them excited about it? In other words, basic advertising. Like, here I am, buy me, here's right. what I do. So you can, you know, Tim and I are frequently in meetings where people are talking about, hey, we're going to build this great site and we're going to do all these clicks. And, oh, someone liked, someone clicked like a thousand times on a tube of toothpaste. I like toothpaste too. I don't buy it every day. <laughs> right. But so... The, the means of reaching somebody may be a digital campaign or it may be uh, billboards, out of home, print, TV, whatever. But the fundamental baseline question of that or the, the need is that company has a need to get that product in front of people, right? Right. Well, there's, there's uh, one example that you and I have been involved with is there's some talk with all of automated driving, for instance, or the driverless car. Will people still drive? So in 10 years from now, will people still drive or could you just get get an app and click and this driverless car shows up? And so I was trying to think, so if you were an automobile manufacturer, I guess the issue still is you need to provide transportation for people that's just providing it in a different way. Yeah, would, yeah. But haven't you always said, and one of the things that we've talked about uh, in our many, many years working on auto there are some people who just love to drive. They like yeah. the act of driving. They they like being behind the wheel of a car. They like the whole thing about it. They don't mind if it takes an hour to get somewhere. They just like the act of driving. A self-driving car is going to take that away from certain consumers, right? Right. And it's very much car we're very much a in America or North America, particularly a car culture. And uh, so that 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 was why when I was looking at this, I thought, okay, with different industries that you are involved in or we're both involved in, how would this change in terms of still being relevant or still still addressing the issue of what won't change? I want to provide reliable transportation. Maybe it's just in a different form. Form. And and the yeah. author of the article said that one way of achieving this what won't what won't change uh, th mindset is to look at three key areas: purpose, priorities, and people. The three uh, P's. The p <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with the P's again because there's the P's of marketing. And now there's the P's of the question. <laughs> So in this case, purpose is, uh, you know, there's a reason you started your business. It's the why of your business. Why am I doing this? And priorities is, is similar. Like, you know, the value of a priority is messaging, 
Um, what's my business now? What, what, how do I prioritize this or that? And obviously people is a big one too. Yeah. I, I, and people in terms of, uh, empowering them or let them have, have a culture where there's, and we've talked about this with Bezos at another time, have a culture where it's, where failure is okay because you're going to learn something from it and you can't have, you want, you want your employees to be creative and be forward thinking. And so you empower them to make decisions and, and, uh, and show that you value them. Yeah. So I, I think this is a f- interesting question that, um, I'm going to start asking myself as I look, as we work with some of our clients, what won't change? It's fascinating because there are things that are going to stay static and they have been that way for years. And there are things that are going to be changing and constantly evolving, but landing on that what won't part means you can provide a service for a long time to come. Kind of a weird way, I just as tangential comment, but I read an article right before we came on air in Business Insider and it was the, it was odd because it was the three software packages that you should learn if you want to have employment for the next couple of decades. And the one that surprised wow. me the most was something called AutoCAD, Autodesk AutoCAD. It's a 2D and 3D program that they use to uh, prototype devices or for uh, blueprinting and, and architecture. And I thought about it and I thought AutoCAD designers are often in demand because it's a highly complex software. So staying on top of that means you'll probably be employed as long as people are still using AutoCAD, right? How difficult would that be to learn that? I mean, you're very tech savvy. Would that be a very difficult thing? What, I wonder what the learning curve is on something like that. Um, I've opened AutoCAD in the past. It's familiar to me because I work with three-dimensional with 3D animating software. I think it would you could probably take a course in it. Another one that they talked about was um, learning CSS or some of the programming languages that websites are built out of. Again, you'll probably be in demand. But yeah, to answer hmm. the question, I think AutoCAD has a bit of a steep learning curve because wow. I think that a lot of the people that transitioned to AutoCAD used to be draftsmen who they actually used to do this by hand on drafting tables. And then they right. knew they knew the design techniques and the drawings that had to be presented to people. It's interesting. So that that was just like, hmm, I never thought of a career based on what software I knew. <laughs> but there you go, right? Well, you know, you know, that's uh, it's probably very smart because you could it, it's probably not as ageist as some other Correct. Other careers, Very right? true. Very yeah. true. As long as you have the skills, you're employable. Yeah. 